What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with a brand new Arc Hardcore episode for you guys today. And guys, currently we are headed to the, ooh, to the Highlands, although that could very quickly change because we have just stumbled upon a level 95 male Quetz, which honestly could be the key to us being able to tame up a, uh, a Quetzal. And I'm not going to lie, like before I started recording today, I was like, how the hell am I going to tame up a Quetzal? Like... Do I want to do it with the RG? Do I want to do it with the Scorpion? And right now, literally, it just popped into my brain that I don't even need to worry about any of that because we have a goddamn Griffin that can literally just fly alongside the bastard while we shoot him full of tranks. I, 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 it, it didn't even, it didn't even click to me. Didn't even click to me until this very moment. I'm not even joking. So I made a, might as well while we're here. But today, guys, the goal is to tame up a bunch of tames because obviously, like I said last episode, we want to try and get all of the creatures on Ragnarok tamed up. So we're starting from A. We're going to work our way through. Now, obviously, this guy is not A. He is right at the bottom of the list, but it's a Quetzal. These are, I'm not going to say rare spawns, but, you know, they, they don't come in too often. So my goal here was we were going to head to the Highlands to get a sheep and some mutton so that we have a pair of them and that we can breed them and then tame up an Ovis as well while we're over there. Although looking at this Quetzal now, it's not looking like it's going to be too good for us. Uh, and then the plan was to head to the swamp biome where we would get an Akatina. We could go for a Bezel Bufo. We could go for a dive and look for an Anglerfish. Um, and then whatever else is on the list, what else is there? Uh, Arthur Pleura as well. They should over, be over by the swamp as well. And we've got we've got some uh, some bug repellent and stuff like that. We've got Aranios that we need to tame up as well. So we need to go into a cave for those. So I'm not really looking forward to that. But nonetheless, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do it. Well, I mean, we're not gonna have to. I'm choosing to do it. I'm choosing to make myself suffer. I hope I have enough trank darts. I might have to stop by base on the way back and get some more crafted up. Pretty sure I did make another 30 and they're just sitting in the smithy as well. Please don't... Oh, you freaking bastard. You just... Couldn't freaking help yourself, could you? Just couldn't help yourself, could you, Quetzal? You had to go over or above some water, didn't you? So close to the goddamn edge too. Well... That's a great start to today, and honestly, I really hope that that is not what the rest of our luck is going to look like today, because otherwise, I am just going to, you know, just not even going to bother. Really not. <laughs> the goddamn bastard passed out in some freaking water. I hate it. Alright, so we're going to head back over to the Highlands again here, because that Quetzal just wasted a solid five minutes of our time for nothing. And we're going to get an Ovis. I've brought... Did I bring the veggie cakes with me? I did. I brought three. So... Oh, shit. Hello, Argy. That's a nice looking Argy. So we're going to get the veggie cakes over there for an Ovis. There's a level 95 Rock Elemental. We've got some Arthur Pluris here as well, actually. I might try and tame up the Arthur Pluris here. Oh! Hello, Skeletal Quetz. Level 20. I feel like I'm probably not going to be able to kill you. Actually, are you aggressive? I don't think they're aggressive. Do you still run away? Yeah, it does. All right, cool. Well, I mean, that still runs away, so... I'll come back for it, if anything. Level 55 Rock Elemental. And it's going to be really hard to go through this list when I keep seeing all these tames that we need to tame up. Because I'm pretty sure Rainios also spawn over here. On the cliff sides. Like in this volcanic region. So, I'm just going to have to try and do my best to go through it slowly and steadily, but... Oh, Titan of Bowls are another one that are going to be a pain in the ass. I'm glad I don't have to try and tame up some Basilisks, because that would be very painful. We're also classifying the Wyverns as one. I've already tamed up a Poison Wyvern. I'm not going to bother taming up more of them, because it's just a matter of repeating the process where we have to steal the egg. And we've already done that, so I'm not too worried about um about the Wyverns. Alright, let's get over here to the Highlands, and we'll get the Ovises. Beautiful, we hit the jackpot. We got some Ovises over here. I also found a level 20 Aranio Spider. So I'm going to do my best to try and tame that thing up as well. What do we got here? We got a male. Boom. Successfully tamed up a pair of, well, a Ovis. So that can get ticked off the list. 
Can you stop moving for me, little dude? I do like how he's orange. We're going to tame a female up as well so that we can breed these back at base. Because we're obviously going to need mudden, and if we've got a pair of them back at base, we're not going to have to worry about flying out to the damn highlands every single time we want mudden. So it's going to make life a lot easier for us. I've still got one more sweet veggie cake left for an Akatina, so that should be enough, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's come over here and kill the sheepy. Apologies, dear lady. I just need some of your juicy, juicy mutton. That should be enough. Let's drop the pelt. Oh, we can keep going. No, you know what? We'll just dump it on the griffin. Because I don't think I'm going to need mutton just yet. No. Do that. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And I'm going to head straight over and get that Aranio if I can, because that's going to make our life a lot easier. It was a level 20, so I'm... A lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, if it's such a low level, what's the point in knocking it out? Well, because it's such a low level. It's going to be super easy to tame up, and they are a pain in the ass to tame up as it is. So I'm going to make it as easier as possible on myself as I can. Got a bunch of mantis to see, which I can't tame up at the moment. What is that? Oh, it's just a flower. Titan of Boas, I'm pretty sure are tamed up with eggs, right? I'm pretty sure they're just like a cheap man's version of a basilisk. I'm not looking forward to coming back and trying to tame up the damn equuses, though. Let's come over here. You're just doing what you're doing, Mr. Wyman? I think it's this spider here. That's the level 50. The level 20 should be right next to it. Yeah, there is the level 50, 20. I'm going to just try and... Okay, we killed it. I'm going to try and clear the area around it because I don't know whether or not... It'll aggro on us. But I did just spot a scorpion over here. What I'm going to do is we're going to go boom. I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to come over here to this scorpion. There he is there. And we'll get this scorpion as well. Because I don't think I've tamed the scorpion up. But uh, this is why I, I, I mean we just need to try and tame him up as much as we can. Hopefully it's a low level. Oh fuck me. It's a 150. <laughs> oh of course it's a 150. I was hoping it was a low level so that I didn't have to waste too many. Oh okay well that was easy. Too many trank darts on it. Alright, that should be the level 20 spider over there. I'm praying that it is. And I'm praying that we can get this thing relatively easy. Because I know that the bugs themselves are super annoying to try and tame up. Come on, come on. Beautiful. Okay. Whew! Alright, that's that's going. Let's just wait it out. I want to try and get this thing tamed up with little distractions as possible. There's, I've, I've also trying to be, been trying to keep an eye out for any low-level Arthropleurus, and I think our best bet is to probably head over onto the mountainside. I flew past quite a few of them out there when we were uh, flying through, so I think that might be our best bet. Shit. Oh, it's not going too closer to our griffin, I was going to say. I'm just trying to give it as much space as possible. The good thing about the bugs is that we don't need to go in the caves for them. I don't know where I'm going to try and tame up an onic. I'm trying to think where I can get an onic. And I honestly cannot for the life of me think of any that spawn outside of caves. I'm thinking the lava cave has onyx. You're not aggroed on me, are you? Yeah, I think, the, I think the lava cave has onyx, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Ooh. And I did try to get ghillie on as much as I could. As much ghillie as I could. So we have a full set except for the chest piece and the head, I believe. Please don't hurt me. Oh my god. I hate these things. Well, I don't hate them. I hate trying to tame them. Come on, you bastard. Let me put some meat up your butt. Alright, we're at 75%. We're close. Luckily, with the ghillie and the bug repellent, we should be able to just mitigate most of the problems that we would have from taming this up normally. Come on. And luckily, it is a low level, so that it shouldn't take long to tame. One more bite. That's all we need. We could have probably built a very elaborate trap for it, but I didn't feel like that was... Oh, you fucking bastard. God damn it. Okay, I think if I fly away and leave its render range, I think we hold the taming progress and it doesn't 
reset. As long as we don't hit it, I'm pretty sure that's what causes it to reset. Fly up, you stupid bird. I'm pretty sure that's what will cause it to reset. So let's just fly up here and pray that it doesn't reset. Oh, the Paracer got tamed up as well. Yeah, so it hasn't reset yet. Thankfully, let's just keep flying up here a bit. Alright, surely that's given it enough space. You chill, mate. He looks chill. Let's go see if he wants to take our last bit of meat up the butt. We're so damn close. <laughs> oh, I was just there. Got him. Oh, baby. All right, that, hands down, one of the most painful tames to get is successfully ours. I'm going to turn that off. I kind of want to kill it, to be honest. I'm not going to take it back to base. I'm going to leave it there. I don't, I really don't think I can have a use for it. Scorpion, mate, how you looking, buddy? How much prime spoil need have I got left? One piece. Oh man, that makes me so happy that the Uranio is tamed up. Okay, so that's one of the A's. We've we've still got to do the Actina, the Angler, and the Archaeopteryx, and the Arthropleura. Ugh. Angler's going to be okay. I brought a crossbow with 30 Trank Arrows. That should be enough. We're going to just look for a low-level one. I got one spoiled meat. Is there a stack that's about to spoil? Not really. I don't remember if bugs give us spoiled meat or not. Alright, what I might do, while I wait for that scorpion to slowly whittle down in Torpor, I'm going to look for an Arthropleura to tame up. And now I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same as the Uranios. We feed them spoiled meat up the butt, and they tame up eventually. The only issue with the freaking Arthropleuras is that their freaking venom destroys your armor, and I hate it. It's so annoying. So I'm just going to look for a low level one up here. I did see, like I said, quite a few of them up here. When I was flying over. I'm going to try and avoid the ones where there's a bunch of them in an area. And hopefully I can find one. Alrighty guys. I have found a level 55 Arthropleura just here. I don't know if they aggro on Griffin. So I'm going to park Nicarus up here. Hold on. What was that up there? 55 was the lowest I found. There's two 45s just over on the next cliff face. I think it's... It's not these two, is it? Um, but I... That's a 145, yeah, I'm not wasting. If I had a vault to get into, sure, but... Oh, there's a level 20. Honestly, I think I'll go for the level 20. I think, yeah, I'm going to go for the level 20. Uh, I do have to clear the stuff around it, but that should be okay. How strong is this damn Titan Boa, dude? Just die. God damn, one... What is with the 150s today? Everywhere I freaking look. 150, 150. All right, which one is the one? I think it's the less color colorful one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Arania is dead. Arthropleura is by itself. We just need to fly out of render range and then we should be able to come back and tame it up, I hope. Alrighty guys, so I th think we're good to go up against the Arthropleura and try and tame it. I, th I think we're good. I'm going to pop another bug repellent because this is going to run out. Oh shit, I can't. Uh, I, I want to try and get it started. I don't have any Broths of Enlightenment. We have to use good old spoiled meat. And I know we're going to try and get it down the side here. Issue is if I try and do it. I'm going to run. Just because the broth's going to run out. I'm not going to get clear of it in time. Man, I hate Arthropleurus. Trying to tame them up is a pain in the ass. Alright, uh, and we're good. Let's take another one here. Alright, let's see if we can get up close to it. I mean, I've got a pretty solid set of Gileon, so like, it shouldn't really notice us. Oh, please don't go in the rocks, dude. Oh, God. Please don't do this to us. Oh... We're touching it. Oh my god. Okay. That was not as bad as I was expecting, but still pretty bad. I need to run back to the griffin because I don't have enough spoiled meat. 
I wasn't expecting it to get 50% just off one piece, to be honest. It is only a level 20, which is the entire purpose why we went for a level 20 instead of level 2,652,000,000. You bloody beauty, you got one more piece of meat off for us. By the time I'm done with all of this, our freaking mutton's going to be spoiled as well. Alright, let's go around, go around. Alright, let's try this again. I mean, I was on its back and it didn't really seem to mind us, so... Oh god, when it does that, it's just... And I see its face, I just... No, it's too much for me. Come on, come on, i got to try and get on that right, on this side here. Come on. Oh, it's not hungry? Okay. I'm gonna leg it. I'm just gonna wait it out. Already got dung beetles, so we don't need to worry about that, but that's not a dung beetle. Another spider. Kill that. Alright. That's fine. Yeah, alright. I mean, this is so far, honestly, going pretty smoothly. We, I mean... The spider was a bit of a problem, but that that's that's okay. It's not like a crazy big problem. So that should be fine. But what else have we got? We've got to do... Still got to do the Akatina. Uh, we already have a Baryonyx. We've got an Archaeopter... We need to get an Archaeopteryx. And then the Angler. The Angler one is the one I'm a bit worried about. Because we have to go in the ocean. Did I bring my scuba gear? Yeah, I did. So we brought scuba gear. That's what the mutton's for as well, actually. And the Beezle Boofer, I think. Oh god, it's looking right at me. Come on, come on. Oh, so close. 85%. Alright, let's just back off. We're going to wait for it. And then, yeah. And then it should be good. <gasps> oh, man. That scarecrow scared the crap out of me. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. This is it. I'm going to try and get him here. Hopefully, he's starved enough. Come on. Oh, what? <gasps> I've got no food in the last slot. Where's my spoiled meat? Did my spoiled meat spoil? You kidding me right now? Oh, no. There it is. Okay. Heart attack. I think he's ready to tame, though. Based off that interaction just there with our spoiled meat go not being existent. Oh, beautiful. All right, mate. Congrats. You have been tamed. Uh, enable wandering. Enjoy your life as a tamed up Arthur Plura. Okay. He's all tamed up. Let's head out. We're going to still try and tame a t an Akatina. Only issue is i got to fly all the way to the other bloody side of the map. And there's a ghost mantis down there as well. I'm tempted to try and kill it, but at the same time, I'm just like kind of meh. So, we're going to try and get the Akatina and the Angler. Now, the Archaeopteryx. You know what? We could probably try and get an Archaeopteryx as well real quick. Because the Redwoods is just over there. I haven't seen any in our Redwoods. Which kind of sucks. But, I mean, there might be some over here. I'm going to take a quick look. Archaeopteryx is super easy. They're only Kaiden and Knockout. And that's it. So, if we can get one, we'll be sweet. Alrighty guys, here we go. Archaeopteryx is here and ready to get knocked out. I've just got to try and line up the perfect shot because these guys are pretty fast. Not with the shotgun though. Got him. Okay. I was not expecting him to survive one train dart. I was fully expecting him to get knocked out to be honest. I also thought they were a lot faster. Maybe I'm just thinking about the micro raptors. Come back, you little dude. I just want to be your friend. What level is he? Oh, 145. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. All right, cool. That's the Archaeopteryx garden, pretty much. What we need to do now is... I've spotted, like, three Thylacolios on the way over here. Two 145 males and then another level 90, I think. Um, yeah, so I, I'm, I was thinking of taming those guys up as well and trying to use them for the Dodo Rex. But I'm not entirely sure yet whether or not we want to do that. Are you going to still be able to tame up off that little dude? Yeah, right. I'm going to leave that there and that should be okay. Actually, we'll just wait for it, I guess. Is there anything else I can tame while we're over here super quick? I have Mudden on me. I've already tamed the Terror Bird up. We've got the Castoroiduses that we could tame, but they need berries. And I'd rather go for kibble. Uh, cooked mutton for the thylacolias, but they like, take forever to do as well. Actually, Kano, is it a low level? 
Level 60 is probably too high for the time that we would want to spend here. Let's see if I can find another Kano. I don't think I'm going to have any luck. Terra Birds, I'm not too fast on. We already got in Terra Birds. Megaloceros, we've already tamed up as well. Yeah, probably just a Kano, but I need a low level one. Hmm. Or a Micro Raptor, even. If there were any out here. I don't see any, though. Alright, I'm just going to wait up for the Archaeopteryx then. Alright, guys, beautiful. Archaeopteryx is all tamed up. Honestly, I'm just going to leave it here as well. Because there's no point in us taking it with us. So, I'm going to try and avoid the Thylacolios in the trees here, because there was quite a few of them, and I don't really fancy tussling with them and losing our armor. So, where are we going? We're going to head to the swamp. We're going to try and get an Akatina, and then hopefully an Angler. And call it a day, I think. Okay, guys, I made a slight mistake in thinking that Akatinas were actually passive tames. Turns out, they are not. We actually need to knock this guy out. Well... That went better than expected. Now, I've only got one sweet veggie cake, and I don't know if that's going to be enough to tame this guy up. So, I'm a little concerned. I don't think we're going to have enough, to be honest. Which sucks, but I might have to just... How quick is this torpor depleting? I mean, this torpor is depleting pretty damn fast. Um, I want to go get a freaking angler, but I don't think we're going to have enough time to... We've got our Barry, we've got our Bazzy. How deep do we need to go for... I almost threw our freaking Bazzy out there and just then. Actually, you know what? I don't need to worry about checking on it because we can do this. Go like that. It's honestly probably going to wake up, but I don't really care if it does. We have... I, I, I thought they were passive tames like the Ovis and they only take one... Um, and they only take one, whatchamacallit. One sweet veggie cake to tame up. Turns out I am extremely mistaken here. And we're going to cryo up Nicarus. Ugh, I'm going to have to prime tame, tame the anglerfish. Yeah, we don't have enough mud in to tame it. It's going to spoil. Because we've been be too busy freaking flying around looking for stuff. Don't think he had anything else on him. Alright, let's get in the water here. Shit. That's a bad idea, especially if there's a freaking Baryonyx over nearby. Worse, Mega Piranhas. Okay. Let's 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 just swim away here. Okay. This should this is fine. Everything is okay. We just need to try and find an anglerfish. Now, megalodons I don't really want to deal with. Megalodons I don't really want to deal with at the moment. I am going to have to eventually tame them up, but that can wait. It's so dark in the goddamn oceans. We've got Gamma set to 5. It's currently midnight, so, you know, life is good. Alright, I need to find an angler. Fish. Alrighty, guys, we are right in the depths here, and honestly, I am terrified. There is a Liopleurodon down here, though. I wish I had some honey to tame that up because, yeah, we need to tame one of those up as well. Still no sign of uh, angler fishes. We're right down at the pretty much at the bottom of the ocean, though. So I am extremely terrified right now. I don't want to die, and this is terrifying. I just want to... I don't think our Bassy has taken damage just yet. We're going to go melee damage here. We've killed a bunch of Nidarius, killed a bunch of Megalodons. Thankfully, nothing too big that has come along, like a Moza or anything like that, that we haven't been able to deal with. But I kind of wanted to tame up that Liopleurodon, because I doubt we're going to be able to find another one like that anytime soon. Oh, fuck me. It's just going deeper. All right, we're taking damage now. We're immune to eels, though, so we should be okay. I just, I need to leg it if we find a two, so. Because there's no way I'm dealing with one of those guys. Go away. Oh, I need to tame up one of these things as well. Crap, I don't even remember how you tame one of these up. And a donkey. That's another thing I'm not looking forward to. Freaking donkeys. Uh, let's drop some meat here. Alright, I see a two, so I see more eels. I'm not going to probably go this way, I don't think. We can deal with it. We can deal with the two, so... Oh, here we go. Beautiful. Right here in the trench. Please be a low level. 45. Beauty. I will take it. Level 4. I just have to be super careful because if I'm far away from my Bazzy and something decides to come in and attack us or 
Something spawns in. We're going to be in big trouble. I'm going to whistle it to follow us, just in case. Okay. Especially if we get stunlocked by a fucking eel. That would be a terrible way to go out. Our uh, Akatina as well. I don't know if I brought you guys back for that. Actually had 60% from the uh, one sweet veggie cake that it got. So we didn't have enough, unfortunately. All right, it's coming back at us. I really wish these guys gave off brighter lights. It would make their usefulness so much easier. I need to slow down though. I just realized that they don't have much health. Oh, there's another one swimming towards us. I might just have to use this one. I don't know what level it is. I hate angler fishes. They swim away from you and everything. It's level 55. I've got to be careful because I don't have too many arrows left. Were you the one that I was hitting? Nope, that's a stupidly higher one. This one can die. And they're so small. Alright, donkeys don't need them yet. Far out, this is terrifying. I can barely see as it is. Alright, hold on. Oh, <laughs> I see what you're trying to do, game. I see what you're trying to do. I'm not going over that way to the freaking Tussos. I think the angler we were... The 45 anglers over there somewhere. Man, is this even worth it? God damn it. This could end in disaster so easily and so quickly. Far out. I'm not worried about eels while we've got our Bazzy. Thankfully enough. I mean, we could definitely take out the two sows. It's just... Trying to tame up an angler in the process of doing so. I can't see anything. I don't know. Okay, there's another angler. Is that the level 45 one? That's the 55. Is that a different one? I'm running out of Trank Arrows here. I've got to try and stay aware of my surroundings as well. Fuck, those things are close. Because if I get grabbed by them, it's literally all over. We're going to jump back on you for safety purposes. Because I am not messing around with some Tussos while not on the back of my Bazzy. I have no idea where that angle went. Bastards are so small. It's oh yeah, here they come. You're not alphas, are you? No. Alright, thank god for that. Level 50 we can kill pretty quickly. Oh, I'm so glad we tamed up Bazzies and bred them because we would not have been able to do this with normal dinos. Alright, there's one. I don't know if I'm hitting the other one. Now I am. Now I am, yep. What level is this guy? Oh, another level 90. All right, I just need to try and get an angler. There's one up there again. So we'll kill this guy and we'll head up there. Hopefully the Snyderias stay where they are. Come on, dude. Just die for me. Please. All right, he's trying to ink away. I'm going to try and stick on him. Except I can't now because I'm blind. All right, let's go like that. Can I force feed you for, for food? No, nope, that's just draining your food, your health. Where'd the bastard go? I have no idea. It's so dark down here. Alright, let's just focus on trying to get this angler knocked out. Okay, I'm guessing that's the Tuso over there. I just, yeah, I don't want to get surprised by a freaking Tuso pulling up on us. Probably should have brought flippers as well, I guess. You know what? I, I can't really try and pull it up either. Because they just, they just swim away from you. Oh, hold on. Actually, I might be able to here. Just so I can try and kite it up a bit so I don't have to deal 
with two sos or anything scary for that matter. All right. Doesn't look like it wants to follow us. So I'm just going to have to follow it back into the goddamn depths. <sighs> Thank God, guys. So, I don't know. You probably would have seen that. And it's so close to death. So we just... Um, we ran out of arrows. And I was panicking for a bit. I'm not going to lie. And then luckily I remembered that... Well, I mean, we were using our... Our whatchamacallit. And then I was like, okay, hold on. Maybe we killed a couple of megalodons. Maybe we have some trank arrows in our inventory. Luckily we had two otherwise... This angler definitely would have died. Alright, I'm going to give it some prime fish meat. I don't know if that's better for it or regular raw prime meat is, but... We don't really have much of a choice. This is terrifying. I hate being this deep. I hate being underwater. It's freaking terrifying. So, being this deep just makes it worse. I'm just going to sit here while our Bazzy recovers some HP. And hopefully this freaking angler can tame up with what we've put in its inventory. Alrighty, guys, and our anglerfish is all tamed up. Uh, it tamed up faster than I expected. I thought its food would drain a lot quicker. Uh, not thingy as much, but yeah. I'm going to keep this guy. We're going to take him back with us to base. Just in case we need pearls for anything. So we can take this guy out and, and use him to get pearls and stuff like that. But thank God for that. We can get out of the ocean for now. I cannot wait, and it is daytime here because that's how long we've been waiting for this damn fish to tame up. So, it's luckily it's daytime. What I'm going to do is we're going to swim to the surface. I'll cry up the bazzy, throw out the griffin, and we'll just fly back to base. Still need to get an Akatina, but I think that was all of the A creatures that we needed to tame on Ragnarok so far. Yes, that is. Aside from the Akatina. So, we've managed to tame all the A creatures up, thankfully. Um... It did take us a little bit longer than anticipated, I suppose. I don't know. What day is it? It's day 80. So I should probably get back and check on the tames and stuff like that. Because the rhinos... Oh, hold on. Because I can imagine the rhinos have probably gone a little crazy. So I don't imagine that's going to be a very good sight to get back to when we get back to base. Can you come down here for me, Nicarus? Stop right there. You bloody legend. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, you scared me, Bazzy. I thought you were getting attacked. Yeah. So, I mean, we're going to have to get back to base and sort the rhinos out, but that shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to grab some of this biotoxin. So, A, we can turn it into trank darts, and B, just use it as torpor, and everything else can just be dropped. I'm not really too fast on the rest of it. So, guys, I mean, today was a very good success. Managed to get the anglers, we managed to get the uranio, the freaking arthropleura, and whatever else we managed to get today, I don't even remember. So, yeah, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.